What's going on guys, this is your host Daisy and today I'm going to be talking mainly about the Polaris graphics card is launch and the news has been going around uh, after its launch, the benchmarks, the leaks of the benchmarks and the performance that AMD has showed about its new graphics card. So starting off with the launch, AMD at E3 PC Game Show which AMD actually hosts showed three graphics cards, three of the new graphics cards and AMD said that these are total Polaris lineup. The three graphics cards namely RX 480 which we already know launched at Computex this year, the RX 470 which is its little brother and the RX 460. Now we all know that RX 480 was marketed to be for the 1440p gaming and 1080p too. Now the RX 470, AMD and Lisa Su at the event at E3 2016 PC game show Lisa Su said that RX 470 GPU is gonna be for the 1080p high settings 60fps gaming. The RX 460 on the other hand is going to be for esports. And we all know that what esports games are like. So it's gonna be fairly lower powered than the RX 470 and the RX 480. Now AMD said that this is their total lineup of the graphics cards for the Polaris. And this is the total Polaris family. And we know now that RX 490 or RX whatever the next card is gonna be is not going to be from the Polaris family. But we all know that Vega 10 or Navi GPUs are going to be the ones to come after Polaris. Now this is a confirmation that the RX 490 or whatever it's going to be launching after this series of Polaris GPUs, the three graphics cards, is not going to be from the Polaris family. And we all know that the next GPU will be named as Vega. So Vega is going to be powering the next graphics cards and that is not going to be launching till late this year. Now at this event at the E3, Lisa Su actually showed the two new graphics cards, the RX 470 and the RX 460. Now if we take a look at the RX 470, we can see that it has a 6 pin connector, it has 8 RAM chips and it has a core similar to the Polaris 10. So that mainly just concludes that graphics card used in the RX 470 is a cut down Polaris 10 graphics card which is fully inside RX 480 GPU. RX 480 is getting the Polaris 10 XT and the RX 470 is getting the Polaris 10 Pro. Now this has happened before since the HD 7870 then the 7850 they had the GPUs with the XT and the Pro respectively in them then following that the R9 280 the R9 280X that had the Tahiti GPU Tahiti XT and the Tahiti Pro following that with the Hawaii following that with the Granada which was actually relaunched had the XT and the Pro in them so this proves that these two graphics cards, the RX 470 and the RX 480, are gonna be based upon the same chip. So, we know now that it's gonna be based upon the same chip. Its power draw is gonna be fairly lesser than that, maybe 10 to 20 watts lesser because we're gonna be cutting down some of the cores or you can say some of the stream processors and we're gonna be getting lesser heat output and lesser power draw. Yeah, these are the main things for the RX 470. The RX 460 which AMD showed had a little small cooler fan which just indicates that this graphics card doesn't even need much power to operate and isn't gonna output much heat. It doesn't have a 6 pin connector. Lisa Su actually said that this graphics card is going to be drawing less than 75 watts of power. So I think around about 60 watts is going to be its limit. Overclocking would be getting it to 75 watts. Now if AIBs get it to have a 6 pin connector or an 8 pin connector and make it to be overclocked, which we are hearing that the Polaris is a good overclocker, these GPUs are a good overclocker from the benchmarks that have been leaked or have been shown by AMD, shows that this GPU can potentially overclock too. Now this new GPU RX 470 considering it's the same Polaris 10 core in it that the RX 480 has, this GPU is actually grabbing more of my attention because I was curious that how much of a performance does this graphics card actually provide. So for calculating its performance, we have to take a look back into the history of AMD, what it's been doing for a long long time. So seeing from different GPUs and their brothers, we see that the 7870 and the 7850 over game debate, we see that the 7870 has 1280 stream processors and its little brother 7850 
had 1024 stream processor, which are 256 stream processor lesser than its big brother. Seeing the next generation, the R9 280 had 1792 stream processors and the 280X had the 2048 stream processors. Also 256 stream processors lesser than its bigger brother. Now seeing the 290 and the 290X, they had the same scenario and whenever a new GPU launches, AMD does make this kind of differences in their graphics cards. Now we can probably estimate the number of stream processors in the new RX 470 graphics card. Considering we know that the new RX 480 GPU has two 304 stream processors, if you subtract the 256 stream processors from this chip, we get an RX 470 chip with 2048 stream processors. And this 2048 stream processor count will actually help us to determine the performance of this GPU comparative to its big brother. Now over at videocards.com, we've got some new benchmarks. And these benchmarks are the 3D Mark 11 official website benchmarks. These benchmarks show the performance of the RX 470 in 3D Mark 11 versus the RX 480 performance in 3D Mark 11. Now at videocards.com, they say that an average score of 16823 is observed for the RX 480 benchmarks and an average score of 13368 for the RX 470 benchmarks. Now if we calculate their relative performance, we can actually get that. If we divide 16823 by 13368, we get a 25% difference. Now if you guys don't know how to calculate a graphics card's performance in teraflops or compute performance, it's just very simple. You just take a graphics card stream processors and multiply it by 2, then multiply that number by its clock speed, core clock speed, and you get the performance in flops which you can actually convert it in tera or gigaflops. So to tell you that this equation is actually true, if you multiply the 2304 stream processors of the RX 480 by 2 and multiply it by its core clock which is 1266 MHz boost clock, we can actually see that it has 5.8 teraflops of performance. Now if we divide this 5.8 teraflops of performance by 1.25 to decrease its performance by 25%, we can actually see that the RX 470 GPU will actually get us to around about 4.64 teraflops of performance. Now to calculate the clock speed of the graphics card, the boost clock speed of the graphics card, we can simply use that equation and by simplifying that equation we get 1132 core clock speed. Now guys this is mere speculation by me by the calculation of simple mathematics and this can turn out to be actually true and this can turn out to be actually false. If it turns out to be actually true, then you know that who actually gave you the information first. Now this 25% difference in performance of these two graphics cards is going to be actually giving us a price difference too. If we decrease the $200 by 25%, we get $150. And yeah, AMD is going to be pricing this GPU at $150 to make it competitive. This is a rumor that's been going on for a while now. If that rumor is going to be true, that this calculation is true and this graphics card is going to be at 1132 MHz score clock with 2048 stream processors to get this average performance in 3D Mark 11. Now this 1132 doesn't actually mean that this is actually the maximum overclock for the RX 470 because at videocards.com we have many other values too which are higher than these averages for both the graphics cards. So if we just put those values in the equation and calculate we're going to be getting more clock speeds. So if Polaris turns out to be a good overclocker we can actually see more performance. Maybe 6.0 teraflops of performance from RX 480 and more than 5 teraflops of performance from the RX 470. Maybe it turns out to be true. We don't know. It's just pure speculation at this point guys. If you like this video and you think that we are getting good graphics cards from AMD or if you think we are getting bad graphics cards from AMD just leave a thumbs up or a dislike on this video and leave in the comment section below what you think about my calculation what you think that these graphics cards are going to be like when they are launched and I'm going to be going out now peace